Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's good to be back at my my little messy desk. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but um, I cut a bunch of stuff out of uh, some local magazines and um, uh, a free art magazine. I don't remember what it was called because <laughs> I already threw it away. Um, but it was kind of waiting for me in the mailbox uh, the other day and um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to do like a quick gluing session with you guys um, in um, the most, well, the two most recent um, junk journals that I've been working in. If you're interested in a flip through, uh, I'll put the link in the description below or um, I'll try to figure out how to do it you know, in an iCard or in a card here. I still haven't, you know, I'm so behind on um, knowing what to do here on YouTube, but you know, it's okay. So um, here's my little mini, and um, this is a junk journal that I made. Um, I call it a macaroni box junk journal because if you look at it, it is, you know, the, the dimensions of um, a macaroni box, but, um, as I was making it, um, well, I haven't really planned on working in it too much, but so I'll put it to the side, but I'll just tell you while I'm flipping through to look for something to work on. Um, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to put this somewhere. Um, but anyway, <laughs> as I was uh, trying to uh, work on it, the uh the box itself that i was using kind of fell apart i think i was trying to um to uh kind of pull it apart to make the the cover a little bit less um oh i know where i remember where i wanted to put this one um i wanted to make it a little bit less uh yeah that's the perfect spot for that <laughs> um I wanted to make it less thick so that it would be easier to uh, to glue some things on without making the cover like super thick. But yeah, I know it just took me two minutes to tell you guys that. But anyway, it fell apart, and so I had these signatures and um, already made and already ready to sew in, and um, so I had to make a new. A new box for it or a new junk journal for it and um, that's what I ended up with so um, so yeah <laughs> anyway if you're new to my channel like I said my name is Angel and um, I just do art here for myself I do junk journals and um, you know whatever whatever seems to be making me happy at the time that I make it um, I think it's obvious that I don't sell anything um, because, you know, not all art is, uh, is, uh, is for that, you know, art is, is for me, at least, you know, in my, my philosophy, I make it for myself and it's just something that makes me happy and something that I do, uh, to make myself happy. So there's also a lot of pausing that goes on on this channel. Um, I've got two really demanding dogs and a husband who works at home, so... Um, you know, you know how it goes. Um, that looks good there. So a lot of this stuff that I'm gluing in right now, I got out of an art magazine, like I said earlier, and I, I am so sorry that I did not take the time to write down any of the artists' names. I, I should do that, but I was too lazy, so, um, if you're wondering... <laughs> about like this I should have wrote this down this one this one's a good one and I feel like that could go nicely in here right oh I like it there I do like it there but let's see let's see where else it could go um, it kind of looks nice there too right yeah let's just put it there let me just put it there this is kind of a drab looking page. So I'll just put it there for now. So that's probably what I'm just gonna do today. I'm just gonna glue a few things and um, 
you know, maybe bust out my new markers that I showed you guys that I haven't really played with in a couple weeks because um, I was out of town last week and then my nephew was still here because my nephew came um, to take care of my dogs while I was out of town and he just went home two days ago so um, I really haven't been able to, you know, get in here and um, really do any work. So I've got this apple and I have a page that is um, kind of fruity, <laughs> like this one. And um, I feel like it would go really nicely here, right? You know? Or maybe not. I don't know. I like the color, but I'm not sure that I like it on this page. But I do like it on this page, so I'll go ahead and glue it in. Um, I, uh... I wanted to ask you guys if you, any of you who are watching have gone, you know, went um, Black Friday shopping. I did not. I don't normally go Black Friday shopping. I just really don't like the, the, the crazy feeling of it. You know, the, that crowd, it makes me nervous and, um, it just seems like every year people are getting angrier and angrier on Black Friday, you know? And, um, I don't know, I just feel really sorry for the people who have to work, you know, on that day. I've worked on Black Friday before, so I know what it is. And, you know, I get it. That's, that's how it is when you work in retail. But still, that doesn't mean that I have to participate in it, right? Um, and then I'm not saying there's anything wrong with people who do go shopping on that day. I mean, I totally get how fun, you know, how fun it is. Do I want to put that rose in the middle? Kind of do. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just curious to know, um, you know, if you did, let me know in the comments below what you got and if you got a good deal. <laughs> and um, if there's any, uh, anything going on right now that I should know about. Um, I'm kind of at the point where I'm I'm trying not to buy too much, um, especially when it comes to art supplies, just because I've got, you know, I have so much that I don't really use. I mean, I know in comparison to some people's collection, it's, um, you know, maybe I want to give this girl a guitar. Do I want to give her a guitar? I kind of do, you know? Is she like a rock girl? Is she like a, in a punk band? She might be. So this face is the same as this face because the, the marker went through. So I don't really need to preserve it. So maybe I can put the, um, but I, I kind of want it to be dark so that the, cause see how the, um, the guitar is showing up really well on that side. So maybe I want, um, do I want it to be blue? Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with making it blue. I do kind of want it to be, I may even be messing it up, but I kind of want it to be dark green. Like see, and even that isn't dark enough. I think I'm gonna need, <gasps> I think I'm gonna need a marker, but it's going to show, it's going to like, it may ruin the image on the other side, right? But maybe I need indigo. Yes, that's what I need. So I just want to make, I just want to make this dark. This is um, a Prismacolor. I think a Prismacolor, is it? Yeah, it's a Prismacolor, um, uh, you know, like a color stick that I bought. Or it, I may have bought it or it may have came in um, a tin of pencils that my husband gave me. It was either this or another blue, but I just, I think indigo blue is such a good, it's such a good, you know, dark blue. For me, it's one of my favorite dark blues to use. 
So now let's try it. Yes, see that's gonna look it's gonna look cute there. And then you can still kind of see the the marks of um, the drawing that I made on the other side. So that will be that will look really nice there. Oh no. Okay. I gotta be really careful with this. Because it's it's kind of um it's kind of delicate, this paper. Okay, what else can I put here? Can I put a light bulb? Does she have an idea? <laughs> um, no. Um. Hmm. See, I see this flower and I feel like it needs, um, it needs a little bit more definition. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to deliver that, but... I'm gonna try. So um, this is gonna give me a chance to like play with my my markers. And I hope I'm really sorry about the glare, you guys. I should have addressed that um, earlier, but um, I have been working on. Um, oh, I like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of marks, you know, nothing, you know, nothing groundbreaking, but I don't know, just to make that a little bit less dark and um, make this little flower stand out a little bit. But um, yeah, I've been, um, I'm sure I've told you guys ad, ad nauseum like a million times that I've been really making an effort to make my room here a little bit more functional and um, just work better for me. Like, see, I love that. That just made me happy. Just a little bit of white right there totally made me happy. And now I feel like I want this light bulb right here. But anyway, um, I'm trying to make it a little bit more um, feng shui, feng shui, I hope I'm saying that right. I can't speak um, Chinese. Um, but uh, I do want my room, my workspace to flow better and work better for me. And I feel like um, just moving my desk to, to the other side of this room. I used to have my desk facing. So my desk, th there's a wall right there. And um, I used to have my desk, my workspace area facing this way, um, which is towards the window. And because um, I thought that would, I don't know, when I, when we moved into this house, I thought, you know, that's where the best light is going to come from. And then I can watch the birds while I'm working. But I sort of, I feel like I created an environment where I was, um, I was, I was kind of happy to be in here, but I wasn't exactly, oh, should I put this here? Should I put this here? Yeah. Should I put this here? Kind of like it better here, right? But yeah, and I have a, um, anyway, my point is, is that I have a major glare in here in the mornings and I don't really know what to do to remedy that except um let me see if I can oh unless I can just move move over a little bit yeah I can do that yeah I can do that <laughs> so yeah once again I'm really sorry about the glare I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to do the best I can to figure out how to make um, the lighting in here, at least for filming, much better. But at the same time, I really, I really want this space that I'm working in to be a space that I enjoy not just being in, but creating in. I know that sounds, um, that sounds, I don't know. I mean, I know it sounds weird. I mean, it sounds weird for me to say. It feels weird for me to say just because I used to think um, that just having a space, you know, to work in will be con conducive to working in. But 
in my case it was not because I would come in here and I wouldn't know what to do or I, I it would get so messy in here that I, I would get overwhelmed with how messy it is and I'm, I'm somebody who likes a messy space um, you know I really am do I want to put that there yes I just don't know how I how I want it to be I do know that I want it there um but anyway that's the reason that there's a glare here and I'm really sorry about that and um I'm hoping that in the next couple of videos I'll be able to figure out how to you know get rid of the glare without messing up the lighting in here so yeah so I was out of town last week and um, my husband and I went to Hawaii and it was so nice and so much fun um, I feel like I want since the the stitching is there um, I want to put some washi tape in there I may have to take a break just because um, I know just in a half an hour that glare is going to be gone. So I think what I'm going to do is put this washi, glue this washi tape in. Because this is the cheap washi tape that doesn't really, um, it's really not very sticky. So I'm going to glue that in and then take a break and then hopefully when I come back, um, it won't be so glary. Bless you. Ooh, that is pretty. That sure is pretty. Okay, but you guys probably can't see it because of the glare. So I'm just gonna pause for a little bit, and um, hopefully when I when I'm back, the lighting in here will be better. Oh, I was not recording. So okay, I don't know how much uh, footage I lost because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But hopefully the glare is gone, at least gone enough. Um, to where, you know, you guys can kind of see, even though I'm not doing anything very groundbreaking, but I just glued this down, this image down, and then this image down right here, and I drew in a little stem for the cactus, and then I drew this in, this cactus, with um, my new markers. Um, but let's see, let's see, what else can I put here? Um... Ooh, that may be all I wanted to do, so I'm um, going to, let's see, let's see if I can glue some more stuff in and um, kind of call it a day so that I can um, end the video and move on with my life. Oh, here we go. Here's what looks like I, I wanted to um, post some stuff here. Mm. I forgot that I did this. Um, I'm not sure what I was trying to achieve, but yeah, looks cool. I must have wanted to do something in here because it's it's all. I'll just tuck it in <laughs> right there. So okay, I guess I wanted to make something with all of this together, huh? Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll do that. I'll do that right now. So I cut this this out of a magazine. This is um, a, a Picasso painting that um, I think somebody had a print of in their home because this was a, a a magazine that was kind of dedicated to some of the pretty homes around here. Or um, it may not have been a home. It may have been. Um, a hotel I don't remember but I just cut it out because it was really pretty and um, maybe I can just maybe I should huh I could just glue that right And I want, 
I definitely want to put this somewhere, but I don't know where I want to put it. Maybe I want to put it there, right? But I want it to stand out. So I think I'm going to use my same indigo blue to make the background a little bit darker. And that way when I glue it, it'll be nice and it'll show up nicely. It'll be less, you know, less clean looking. Right? So I need more. Yeah. So that might be all I have time for today. Um, but I'm happy I got to work in in this room a little bit because I don't know when I'm going to be making another video. I This room is such a mess. I made a big mess out of it when I was um, getting ready to travel. I don't even remember why um, considering I really only brought a few art supplies with me while I was gone. But I made a mess in here and it's just really really messy and I know I, I always keep saying that but it's just way too messy in here for me to feel comfortable working so do I want to put a lighthouse there maybe I do Well, okay, so this light bulb, it feels right, <laughs> gluing it there, and I think that's uh, where I will end the video. I was hoping to work in my little mini. I really wasn't even planning on working in this macaroni box junk journal today, but um, it felt good to work, you know, period. So, oh, I like that there too. I'm going to put that there. And... Um, I know, I was just celebrating a second ago because I thought the glare was gone, but it's not. It's not gone. So, um, hopefully, if I have time later on today, I want to film a video um, just showing you guys some of the art that I made while I was out of town. So, hopefully, after lunch, the glare will be gone, and um, I can... Um, get some work done in here and maybe even film another video. I'm, um, you know, I'm getting to a place where I can start filming more regularly again. Hopefully. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx myself and say that now, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, my, uh, this little gluing session and, um, I hope to see you guys in the very next video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys again really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, you guys.